I've never had a problem with any guy that I've either fought on the ice or I've yeah, had same here. after after I've met them. But you play with Derek Dorsett, right, in Columbus? So Doris and I, same thing. We never actually – well, actually, sorry, we did fight. We fought in preseason. Bodie was with the Rangers, and him and I were always going at it. And then he came to Vancouver, and we were super close. We still talk to this day. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there was only a few guys – um, that I ever actually fought with that I, I had ill feelings towards after most of the other guys, quick story at Tom Kostopoulos, actually first time I ever <laughs> fought Tom Kostopoulos one punch. He closed my eye, dislocated my nose and chipped my tooth with one clean punch. I didn't even feel it. It was so clean. We were in the pocket banging. He caught me clean, give, you know, tip your cap. He got me. And then I fought him eight months later, split him open for stitches. And then we saw each other in Disneyland in an elevator with our kids, with our four kids. And we just <laughs> shook hands and laughed and like, Hey man, how's it going? It was, it was totally fine. Like it's just the way hockey players are. Right. Yeah. It's really, it's messed up. eh? like when you guys think about it, like the only sport that just barehanded fights happen at any given point, And then you're just cool after the game, like no other sport, you can't bare fist punch somebody and break his fucking nose. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, and in the moment, sure. like, and in the moment you want to kill the guy too, right? In the moment yeah, you're like, I'm going to, I'm going to put this, like, I'm going to put this guy's nose on the side of his face. That's what you're thinking. And then after, well, imagine, he's with, it, yeah, he's no, with his sure. kids, he's with his kids after you're like, oh, coochie, coochie, coo. how are you? What's your name? You know, oh, like, it's crazy. Totally man. changed gears. Yeah. So yeah. was there anybody, I guess maybe it's Kostopoulos, anybody that caught you by surprise where you went into a fight and you're like, uh Oh, I shouldn't have done this. I fought a couple guys in the minors that I didn't quite know what I was getting into, but you know, my first year in the, in the minors, the lockout year, I, it was all guns a blazing. You know, I was just trying to make a name for myself, stay in the lineup. Who knows about getting to the NHL the next year, but I fought a lot of guys that year that I didn't even know who they were, what their background was. And I, I took some hard punches and I took some tough fights. Uh, and then when I got to the NHL, I made sure I didn't make that mistake again. And, I did a lot more research. I was more prepared. I had a book on every single guy that I would possibly come across in a fight. I watched every fight on hockeyfights.com from that night. Really? I mean, I, I over-prepared. I over, it was a part of my game. And although I wasn't a guy like I mentioned, Dorsett or Jared Bull, who fought 25 times a year, I fought like five to seven, eight times a year. But every fight was an important one. I couldn't afford to lose a fight like I did to Kostopoulos. And luckily I only did that once. I fought Ben Eager once in a line brawl in Chicago, but I, I didn't, I didn't take him lightly going in. I knew I was outside of my weight class a little bit. He knocked my first tooth out with a stiff jab and got up and kept fighting him. But you know, those, those are the two that I can remember that, you know, stick out uh, for, for taking some tough punches. And I, I love to get hit in a fight guys. I know we're talking about fighting a lot, but I, I love to get hit in the fight as long as I won. So, yeah, hit me. <laughs> I want to feel it. I want to wake up in the morning with a shiner. I want to wake up in the morning and walk my kids to school. And one of the dads be like, what happened? I'm like, oh, I got into a fight. You know, I love that part as long as I won the fight. Yeah, oh, only, one last question on fighting. And that was, I think, Andy Andreoff. I'm not even sure that's his name. You fought him three times. Why? Yeah, I mean, I mean, just the Ducks Kings rivalry. I think I fought Kyle Clifford a few times. Um, it's just Ducks Kings. It, it's hard. It's it's like the Battle of Ontario, Ottawa, Toronto, and like back in the in the days when it was pretty physical and violent. Ducks Kings down here is is a huge deal. It's you know we're forty five minutes away from each other. Both teams hate each other, and uh, when we fought them, there were wars. And he was their fourth line centerman. And Clifford was a third, fourth line winger. And, and those were my guys, right? When things would go, would go down and Perry would start all the fights and, you know, somebody would go after Getzlov or Kessler, you know, those were my guys and they were fun battles. They were all good fights, all five with those two guys.